Hey guys, Kid Guru here from the tech world, and today, uh, first off, I want to wish you guys a happy holidays, I uh, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, or, you know, whatever holiday you may celebrate, and, uh, look forward to a new, uh, year, it's 2010 coming up, actually, New Year's hasn't happened for me just yet, because, uh, well, it happened in Japan, but I'm in the States, as you guys know, so I do want to apologize for the lack of videos, I still do, uh, post stuff over at adrianstech.com, and most importantly, I've been posting stuff over at podcast.adrianstech.com, and via iTunes for our podcast. So I've been a little busy this vacation, so uh, please excuse the lack of video content. I'll be getting up on that as soon as I can. Today, since it's a new year, I thought we should ring in with some new tips and not a really a new browser. I guess a new browser that came, uh, you know, into the, the I guess the market in terms of you know Firefox and Internet Explorer was Google Chrome, Google's browser that was really you know it was built off of a WebKit, so it's very fast, just like Safari. It's lightweight, very clean interface as you can see here. I mean, I can even like hide these toolbars and. Uh, you know, you can really customize the interface. And as you see, your mind's a little bit customized, not too much, because I haven't been really using Google Chrome. I use it for, uh, you know, on my laptop primarily when I'm on the go. And seeing as I was on vacation this uh, for the last two weeks, I've been using it a lot. And uh, if you've watched YouTubers like uh, Mobile Phone 2003, a good friend of mine, he even switched over to Google Chrome and, you know, really customized his. And I thought with a new year, it'd be a good time to actually, you know, try it out, give it a full-fledged test and, uh, you know, uh, show you guys what I do with my browser and uh, I'll probably leave it to a response to his video so you can check his out also but uh, today I want to mention what they have for you know really customizing the browser they recently launched Google Chrome extensions where the community can make their own extensions just like for Firefox so that you have that fast lightweight browser with these lightweight extensions you know you don't want to install too many to bog your browser down but Google Google Chrome by itself is a very very fast browser so I mean in here it shows you the featured one so you can see like click on it and get you know uh, a description of the uh, add-ons, and most of these are, you know, ported from Firefox, like WOT, uh, with this web of trust, and some of the stuff they have officially made by Google here, so, uh, you can go most popular, you can go most recent, top rated, so I click the top rated one, and it'll show me all the top rated ones, uh, they have a lot of cool stuff here, and let me go back so you guys can see this, um, now, so for example, I just recently downloaded this one. This one shows a Google Gmail checker right here, and you see I had 220 unread messages in my mailbox, which I gotta go through, and I can click that, and it would, you know, open up my Gmail account. Uh, IE tab, if you want to display pages using IE and within, you know, a Google Chrome tab, that way, you know, for pages that are meant to be built in IE. It's also really useful if you're, like, a programmer. There's like, a lot of ones I would want to recommend, but I don't have time to go through them all, but uh, I myself haven't even installed all the ones I wanted to because it's a fresh, in, not a fresh install, but a fresh install in terms of add-ons. There's no add-ons in this one except for this Google Chrome uh, thing right here. So I'll be installing mine and I'll probably make a separate video showing my add-on picks. But um, some I do want to mention, for example, RSS subscription extension by Google. This adds a default, which one is surprisingly is not mentioned. Uh, this isn't in you know the actual uh, browser itself, but it adds a RSS icon up here for you when you want to subscribe to feeds stuff like that. Now, it's really easy to install uh, an add-on. So, uh, just like Firefox, you know, you have your page, you have your description. This is one built by Google. And this one is a Google Calendar Checker, so this one would be really nice for me. You can quickly see your next meeting and click on it to open your calendar. I'm going to hit install. And then I'm just going to hit, it's going to say loading, and I'm going to hit install. And you're going to notice here that it installs it right within the browser. Just like that. It's quick as, uh, you know, didn't even take that, you know, long. And, uh, the great thing about it is in Firefox you have to restart your browser. This one I just installed it and it says 10 minutes or 10 p.m. I was supposed to sleep and I guess this is back to my school time. Uh, this one I, you know, my calendar. But uh, you know I can click it and it can open up my events in Google Calendar. And I don't want you guys to, you guys don't really see that really. But uh, anyway, those are all my events in Google Calendar. Very very nice integrated. And again the quickness of installing. You know, okay, there's my uh, calendar I guess. But uh, how quick it installs and how it integrates it within the browser without having a need to restart, which is something that a lot of people in Firefox always hated. Uh, so it's really easy to install them, as you just saw there. Just find the add-on you want and then hit, uh, you know, click it and then install. And uh, some you might want to check out here. Uh, for example, this is one I also want, uh, Google Reader Notifier. Just click it and then again, show you the easier install. And installed. And then, I mean, these aren't, you know, these are just little lightweight buttons, so these won't really, you know... Uh, take away from the speed unless you're installing a whole, you know, 20, 30 add-ons, which some people did in Firefox, but I mean, you know, the browser itself is still pretty quick. I mean, it loads everything fast, has no problems, and uh, this really makes Google Chrome a much more efficient browser. I mean, uh, these add-ons and everything gives you more extendability. 
Uh, so something really, really to check out. Uh, Feedly is also another one great for news. I'll recommend that one because I forgot I also have that one installed. X Marks Thumbnails, uh, also good. Also, uh, where is the other one? The X Marks, that one is for, you know, importing your uh, thumb. Or here, X Marks Bookmark Sync, a lot of people like this one. Ad Block, for, you know, uh, basic ad blocking, very, very useful. It, you know, get rid of those annoying flash ads and improve speed in loading pages. They have a couple other ones I recommend if you're looking for a Twitter client that's built in. Chrome Bird is also a good one. And again, just click on the app, guys, and it shows you description. It shows you, you know, the developer who wrote it and everything like that. And you can, you know, go to their website, report abuse. And they even have the reviews right under it. So, still a work in progress. There's still, you know, it's not even up to par in terms of, you know, Firefox's community. It is in beta stages. But you can search for something if you need something specifically. Something really, really cool to check out if you're interested in trying out Chrome. And as you see here, I just install my add-ons all while doing that video quick, easy, and no need to restart the browser. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave all links in the video description. Don't forget to check out our website, adrianstech.com. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.